प्रिय स्टूडेंट्स ऑल द वे वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट पेजिंग सिस्टम एक्स वन एक्स टू इंटरफेस हाउ दट पेजिंग इज हैपनिंग हाउ दी आर रिलीजिंग दि रिसोर्स फॉर द यूसर एक्विपमेंट ऑल दो थिंग्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टूडे वी विल हैव अ ब्रीफ डिस्कशन अबाउट द रैन प्रोसीजर्स फॉर द मोबिलिटी ओके सो बिफोर एंटरिंग इन टू द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द रैन आई विल विल सी दैट द लास्ट सेशंस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वेरियस मैकेनिजम्स एंड सिग्नलिंग प्रोसीजर्स बिटवीन द वेरियस नेटवर्क एलमेंट्स ऑफ एल टी ओके दैट विल एनेबल द मोबिलिटी मैनेजमेंट ओवर द एस ओन इंटरफेस एस वेल एस द एक्स टू इंटरफेसस् ओके बट the mobility management within the ram that are very much important which is used to, to determine when a handover should happen or how a user equipment access the target e node b when it executes the handover okay so that we will discuss in this this uh, ram related mobility management will happen between the okay user equipment and the e node b or we can say between the user equipment and the mobility management okay to enable the handover from e node b to the another so in the clearly uh, in the picture in the session of mobility management we have seen the diagrammatic representation in that is user equipment is there so c node b is there target e node b uh, mobility management entity all those here handover request is given handover confirmation acknowledgement all those things so he, what is happening in radio access net what are the procedures this is the defined terminology just we are going go through it okay and what is ping pong effect here this ping pong effect is very very important to avoid that ping pong effect two e node b's we are using okay Uh, and when the user equipment undergoes the rcc transitions already we know that the rcc is having a two transitions mode that is rcc idle mode as well as the uh, rcc connected mode okay so here we are using two e node b when the user equipment is go, goes for the uh, transition modes so now next we will see ah uh, how it is going to be happened okay we are using a term as radio signal received power for an lte cell okay and for what purpose we wanted to use this in the sense the best radio link quality will be identified by the rs rpr the best uh, uh, radio signal received power is the best radio link quality okay and also that is for lte and by using reference signal code power the best radio link quality is indicated for an umts cell okay now with this best quality optimum uh, select the we are going to select the e node b or node b from both the interference management as well as the battery life point of view okay now a uh, factor such as that uh, capability user equipment capability call type is their call establishment call termination <clears throat> then quality of service requirements these all are included in the handover decision process okay and also uh, measurement report from the user equipment is very very important so what are the things <clears throat> included in the measurement report let us have it this report will contain a uh, radio link measurement okay that is used by the network for the trigger the neighbor e node okay and the control of handover procedure these two will be included in the measurement report then here we are for the intra lt handover five events are needed to tr trigger the measurement reporting we will see one by one that is event a2 here whenever the serving cell radio link quality becomes worse than the absolute threshold then event a2 will be enabled then if you go for event a3 
Now the neighbor cell radio link quality becomes better than an offset relative to the serving cell. The third, uh, this one is A1. See here, quality always the radio link quality becomes better than the absolute threshold. Okay, then let us see the event 4. Then event 5. Then it will become less than absolute threshold. Radio neighbor cell radio link quality becomes better than another absolute threshold. So this five events will keep on continuously uh, doing this process. The next for interact handover, two events trigger measurements are reported. We'll see event B1 that is for uh, cell radio link quality but different rat becomes better than an absolute threshold. If you go for event B2, it is another threshold level. So, we will comparing, comparing the threshold levels are changing here. Now, the time to trigger parameter is chosen to prevent user equipment from ping-ponging between E node Bs that we will see and what is happening in the RRC idle mode that is nothing but user equipment decides when a handover is required and which cell or which frequency the user equipment should target. Now, the priority of the each cell, okay. Now, it is a need to determine the priority of the cell, okay. That is by, this can be determined by the user equipment based on the priority of the frequency and the radio link quality. And also, this U-turn determines the optimum cell and frequency for the target E node B to maintain the best radio link quality in the RCC connected state and the handover is initiated by utron based on what okay we have seen uh, five to seven events so based on this one or more events the trigger the transmission measurement report either to a1 to a5 or between b1 to b2 so these all are the basic procedures that is terminology we are going through what is happening in the RAN procedures. Okay, here blind handover. How this blind handover is coming into the picture in the sense the uterine may initiate a handover without any of these trigger events. Okay, that time that particular handover we will call it as blind handover. And also there is hard handovers. That is nothing but user equipment can be connected uh, only one E node B at a time. Okay. And it's usually backward handover where the target E node B. In a diagrammatic we have seen that uh, target E node B is sending request, accepting, acknowledgement, all those things. Such type things we are giving the name as hard handover. And here, whenever the resources are allocated and the target E node B is ready to send an RRC message, okay, the user equipment will use the random access procedure to establish the connection and execute the handover. So, hope uh, everybody can get some clear picture for the um, random access radio access network procedure here. Uh, thank you.